Welcome back to today's Tech Talks and today we're going to stay in the fiber world and we're going to talk about splinting using e-fiber and this is a material that really hits home to me. Um, this is a material I believe in so much when my wife was done with orthodontic therapy instead of having a metal wire tacked into place and spot bonded we placed an e-fiber splint. When my 14 year old son who mind you knows everything and I don't know anything um, when he got done with the orthodontic therapy and got his braces off we also put a e-fiber splint in his mouth so this is a material that I absolutely believe in and today we're going to talk about its applications for splinting so first what is e-fiber? e-fiber is a second generation e-glass fiber it's impregnated with silane which therefore allows us to add PMMA to bond to acrylics for your denture repairs and things like that and a bis GMA that allows it to bond with your composites. This material is translucent, it's flexible, it's pliable, it's really easy to work with and the best part about it you can grind and polish it. It doesn't fray up. So if we're talking about splinting where this is really nice is if you're doing a lingual uh, splint, an orthodontic splint, and the patient says, doctor, this is kind of big and bulky. I don't like it. You can come in and you can reduce the thickness of the fiber simply by polishing it down. Now, mind you, if you polish on the fiber, you lose some strength, but you can make this really nice and thin. It's more aesthetic than metal wire. It's more hygienic and you can really make it patient specific. The other nice thing about e-fiber is that when you press on the fiber you can take it from the cylindrical form into a flat form. So again, you don't have to grind down on it to make it thinner. You can press it and make the material very thin and follow the contours of the teeth. So the applications are very simple, regular composite resin bonding technique, your acid edge, your bonding agent, thin layer of flowable composite, take any regular scissors you have in the office, cut the fiber in the clear silicone, place the fiber into the prepared areas on the tooth structure, adapt it to the tooth anatomy, and simply light cure, tack it into place, I'm going to say three to five seconds per tooth just to eliminate the memory and the bounce back, go around three to five seconds per tooth and then once you have that alpha bond you can come back and you can simply go through your full 60 second curing cycle. Last step you want to put a very thin layer of composite over it because it is a material that will absorb moisture. It will absorb saliva. So it's almost like a veneer. You need a very thin lacquer or veneering layer on it to help protect it and keep it in place. It's clean, it's aesthetic, it's lightweight, and the feedback we've gotten over the last decade from practitioners who have used this has been fantastic. Give it a shot today. I believe in this so much again. My family uses this material. So for our next Tech Talk, we're going to take a look at a different application for eFiber. We'll be talking about using it for our single tooth replacements, whether it be congenitally missing laterals, whether it be provisionals for implant placement, but we'll be talking about using e-fiber for Maryland Bridges. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in the next Tech Talks. Thank you for joining us today for Tech Talks by Preet, part two of our fiber series, e-fiber, splinting made stronger. Interested in learning more about the product you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalksatpreet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.